John Young with the Weekend Handyman. Today, I've got a special guest. I've got TJ Wheeler with us. He is the VP of Product Management from Friedrich, Friedrich Air Conditioning Systems. Good afternoon, TJ. Hey, John. How are you? Wonderful, wonderful. You have got a line of ductless air conditioners we want to look at today because you've got I, we saw some of this at the national hardware show and you've got some incredible units that that can really help almost any homeowner out there we do we do we've got a, a great uh, new line of products that we've just launched this year in 2014 yeah so let's let's take a look at a couple of uh, a couple of the features of these ductless systems you guys are launching sure sure so what we have with the full line when i when i say full line that's that's uh it's probably an understatement we've got over uh 19 models that you can combine and, and interchange in ways to make up over 150 different combinations. Um, and what that means is you can condition pretty much any room or rooms of a home, small business, um, really any type of space, um, and uh, uh, condition it efficiently, quietly, and at a very affordable uh, total installed price. Nice, nice. And with all that, with all the variety of this, the different options, you're able to really then design a system to, to handle the zones of one's house, I'm sure. Exactly. There's, there's no better way. You know, we talk a lot about the efficiency of zoning an air conditioner. And in a lot of cases, we're talking about a, a central system and just cutting off airflow to a room or multiple rooms. But in the case of ductless units, you're actually able to cut the entire unit off. So there's, there's no more efficient air conditioner than one that's not on. Um, and that's the beauty of ductless air conditioners or, and, and room air conditioners in general. Sure, sure. And when you're talking a ductless system, for those who aren't familiar now, what does a ductless system, what are the main components of a ductless, ductless system? Sure. I've, um, I've actually got one just kind of behind me over the shoulder. So what you typically end up, what you have is a, um, an outdoor unit, much uh, similar to what you're, what you're familiar, probably familiar with with a um, central system mm -hmm. where you have some sort of an outdoor condenser. Um, in the case of ductless units, though, they're, they're typically much more compact, so you don't have as many spatial constraints with them. But on the inside, what you have, instead of a big mechanical closet and a whole bunch of bulky ductwork, is a small, compact, um, you know, attractive unit that mounts, typically mounts high on the wall okay. um, and distributes air to, to each individual room from a, from a nice um, indoor-mounted unit. And then you have your typical connected lines that, that run the refrigerant from, from the indoor to the outdoor. Um, installs very, very cleanly, um, and, and because you're decoupling these units um, and having the outdoor unit outside and this very small compact unit inside, it's about, it's, it's, as, essentially, it's really as, as quiet of air conditioning system as you can get. Wow. Very nice. So for a bedroom or a hallway around bedrooms, that'd be a perfect option. Absolutely. We've got models that are down as low as 19 decibels when they're operating. Oh, my. Yeah, and that, that's almost immeasurable. <laughs> yeah, that is incredibly quiet. Oh, very nice, very nice, very nice. Now, now with the different configurations, now size, I guess, would probably, probably uh, you know, there's some for smaller applications, some for larger. How small is small and how large is large when we're talking the ductless systems? Well, we have the, the rated capacities in our systems range from not, as low as 9,000 BTUs and all the way up to 36,000 BTUs, or what we refer to as three tons. Oh, wow. but, but with the variable speed compressors in, in these systems, they're actually able to kind of part load to provide only the amount of cooling that's needed for the space. So our 9,000 BTU unit, or even our 12,000 BTU unit, or 18,000 BTU unit, can run all the way down to about four or 5,000 BTUs. Oh, so you're, nice. You're only using the electrical consumption that, that you, is really needed to condition that space. Oh, very nice, very nice. So it, it's a very flexible system then across the board. Exactly. So with all the different options and such, um, installation of a system like that, what kind of a time and what kind of a skill level is needed for installa installing in a ductless system? Well, typically the systems are installed by an HVAC type of person. Um, you know, the, the hanging of the units and mounting of the units is really very, very easy. So they can typically do it really quickly. It's, it's much less complex than you would think of with a central system. Um, but because you are, um, you know, vacuuming and charging the system, uh, most local and national codes will require you to have a licensed refrigerant um, handling or refrigerant handling license to, to do the full installation and get it up and running. Um, but they are they are very I would say simple overall, so it's a very quick installation and much less intrusive than you would have with other types of air conditioning products. Nice, nice, very neat, very neat. Now the, we're talking the air conditioning, and you know we automatically are thinking summer. Now some of these can actually do some heat pump type activity for a person. 
That, that's exactly right. Actually, in fact, um, of the um, 19 models that I mentioned in over 150 configurations, really only four of those are only air conditioners. Oh, wow. All the rest are actually heat pumps. Um, so you're able to, to provide heating in the winter and cooling in the summer, um, still maintaining all of those benefits of the part load capacity and the high efficiencies and ultra quiet in both heating and cooling modes. Oh, nice. So, so geez, it's, it's a can be in the, in the winter time. You're getting getting the heat coming from that, and it's still it's it's only using as much electricity, I suppose, as it needs for the uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, much much more efficient than if you had a uh, a baseboard heat or something like that. It's a, it's a great system to install. Um, in some cases, primarily for the heat. Wow, very very neat. Very neat indeed. So TJ, now now we're talking about the the flexibility and such. Now, how about just you know just the energy efficient rating? How would the the ductless systems kind of rate when it comes to that? Oh yeah, they're they're extremely efficient, and the numbers prove that. So our we have units that are as high as 25 SEER. The majority of the systems um, range around 19 to 20 SEER, um, and and with that, uh, most of the systems that we have will meet the Energy Star criteria. Oh, very nice, which is a really important thing for the homeowners out there because they can now not only zone condition, they can save money on it not using that full amount of electricity each and every time, and then they're really super efficient. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, exactly. Great stuff, great stuff. If someone wants to find out more information about the ductless systems, where can they go? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Visit um, www.friedrich.com, and Friedrich is spelled uh, F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H. Very good, very good. Well, thank you very much for your time, TJ. It's an, an exciting and cool-looking system. I, I think a lot of people are going to have a, lo a, a lot of use for the ductless air conditioning systems. Great. Thanks, John. We appreciate it. This is John Young with The Weekend Handyman.